Hey there, Dan Gustu here. Today's video is about making a boat for under $200 and is proudly sponsored by MarineEngine.com. Here on this channel, we often get asked the question, I've got $150,000 for a car boat package, but the car I want's $149,800, uh, what should I do? So today's about answering that question. This is the second video in a two-part series. First video focused on the outboard. I'll put a link to that in the description and up in the corner. Quite often you can find small outboards that aren't running for next to nothing. They're either free or 50 bucks or whatever. Um, particularly in an area near the water like this, you know, you put a post on Facebook or whatever and you say, looking for an outboard that's not running and you'll be amazed how many people have them in sheds. The one we had had a broken mounting bracket, not running, no propeller, etc. So we got that one going. That really saved us a huge amount of money. We ended up making a propeller. That was most of the work, to be honest with you, because the replacement propeller was $120, and that's the bulk of our budget gone. So we got one from a scrapyard for $10, $15, and shaved it down. Anyway, that video contains all the info on the outboard. This video concentrates on the hull. What we have. Got a bit of a fuel tank issue. We do. We found in a uh, dumpster. A scrap bin. A mini skip. So we're going to um, attach this to the front of the boat. Seal it up, and that's going to be our bow. Here is the boat itself. Half of an IBC. It's one of Damien's IBCs. He had his uh, sand in. So we're going to use that as the hull. This is the bow. And the Mercury is the motor. So we need to seal this up. It's in the bin. It's got a hatch here, but we actually do have the hatch. So we can put that back on. It's got a few inlets and outlets, and it's also got a split along this edge here. So we're gonna have a go at migging it all up. As with traditional boat design, we're going the uh, bung at the transom. So we're gonna weld our uh, bow onto here. So yes, cartridges lying around. Adrian's found I don't know where they would have come from, it's hard I, to say. It's hard to say where they come from, yeah, I don't know, not sure. But I'm gonna weld that in. Weld that, that in, up. yep. Definitely. And the other end's actually got a drink bottle cap on it. Yep, the Maximus. The Maximus cap fit perfectly there. So I think the Sikaflex, thumb full of Sikaflex, plop. Yep, Bingo. done. And then Sikaflex and screw the lid on. original panel back on. Yep. <laughs> Get it started again. Come on, go! There's uh, lots of uh, sealant, rather than welding it up, whoever had this previously put some sealant on the inside. So it might have been just a water tank, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, which has made uh, welding it harder, but that's all right. Adrian's up to the challenge. Got me nipple burnt a few times. Oh, mate, cool. that happens. Despite all the contamination inside making it a nightmare, cracks welded up. We're gonna put some sicker flex on the inside too. So it looks like whatever was in here has been let out, so this is a this is a safe. I think all the CO2 in there has been completely let yeah, out of your... Yeah, just sucked it out. May have come out the end of your gel blaster, but... My gel blaster? No. I live in New South Wales. I cannot own a gel blaster. All right, let's do it. Okay. Now we've got all our various hole... Well, this we're doing last. We're going to reach in here and do the Sikaflex. But we're going to weld it onto the front of the boat and then uh, lay, it, lay it down, let it cool down. We'll put the sticker flex in. A little sticker solder worked out really well. It did, it looks good. It looks good. It's actually like a little mini bulbous bow on a ship, only on one side only. Yeah. So I reckon we come down we'll so that there. we can weld right along here. Yeah. It'll give us the strongest. Yeah. So as low as we can come and still. Yeah. It's like it was meant to be. Strong enough for the bow not to fall off. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, these are some carbon fibre reinforcement uh, we got developed by some of the uh, race teams from the Sydney Hobart. Gonna put those in. Now lots of people uh, use other tools as hammers. And in this case we're gonna use a hammer as a corking gun because we don't have one and Damien's asleep. So we won't wake him. It's actually harder than you think, Stu. I know. <laughs> Maybe we should fill the tub of water once we sit this in here so it sits in tight. It's not a bad idea, and then we can test on the inside. Uh, yep. 
bottom to the back. getting Sikaflex splodges, which so is... Means, which means it just needs holding weight. Yeah. yeah. To help weigh the tub down while the Sikaflex set, we filled it with water, but we also did that because we used it as a test tank for the little mercury. Because the buoyancy of the tub is going to want to lift it out of the frame, We've got that little bit of Sikaflex on the bottom, but Sikaflex doesn't stick that well to those kind of oily plastics. So the plan now is to drill all around here and cable tie it on. Are there Australian design rules for boats or is it only cars? Um, Oh, I'm not sure. I don't know. It also looks like we don't know. I think, I think it's really registerable. Oh, okay. Well, I think you can register just about anything. As a boat? As a boat. I now have all the cable ties in to help uh, hold the tub down with the Sikaflex. Adrian's now removing the screws so we can put the inspection hatch back in. <coughs> As well as there being a screwdriver here, you can see this powder is all the sealant that Adrian was welding against that was contaminating the weld, so it's amazing it worked at all. Get your screwdriver for you while I'm there. Next job to do is to cut the transom down so the prop is in the water. This is a short shaft outboard, which means that the transom height is 15 twelfths of King Henry's foot long. So we're going to cut this down to that exact length, as archaic as it sounds, and we're going to install a bit of plywood as a reinforced transom. Damien's woken up, so we've acquired a real uh, caulking gun now. Makes the whole process a lot better. It does. Adrian actually used to work in a bakery writing the names on cakes. Maybe I could write the name on the boat. Yeah, true, in Sikaflex. That's actually a good idea. How appropriate would that be? It would be. They're not likely to be CNC drilled, are they? No, they're just likely to be, I think they're just FB, FB holes mm. with screws. So 15 inches is only here, it's below that waterline. It's pretty low, isn't it? It's very low. So, the question is, do we do it high up Maybe at that bar. I think at that bar. And then just accept that we're going to be pulling water from around this cavity and... I think, well, we'll just offer the motor up to it yeah. and see what it looks like. Yeah, well, we know when we put it in here, it's sat inside the... Yeah, so we know it'll probably, it'll probably be just below the bottom, but it... Why don't we cut it to here, because that's the highest we can possibly have it. Yeah. Then do it. And, and see then... what it does. We're going to try cable tying on two little bits of three by two and uh, see if that makes a transom. Uh, why don't all boats get built with just cable ties and stick things? I don't know. I can't see why. It's just perfectly safe. Oh, it's very safe. It's the little touches too, we're going to rotate these round, nice smooth gunnels, because we're a quality boat building organisation. We've only got one uh, uh, clamp, but uh, it's seized as well, so Adrian's going to have a go at freeing that up. We've given it quite a few sprays already. Plan is to launch tomorrow, I think a uh, fresh day, a bit of paint. paint. Put in all the uh, safety equipment and uh, the life jackets. The life jackets. We've Bailing got buckets. Bailing bucket paddles. We've got lights. Lights. We've got nav lights even. Yeah, how the nav lights shoot? Yeah, mate. They say emergency, but I think they're standard equipment. Yep. Should we pop those on? The boat needs seats, and what you may see here is two chlorine containers. But with the magic of cable ties, these are about to become a bench seat. We now have a bench seat 
and navigation lights. As per original video, nav lights aren't for planes to see. Navigation lights shine two points above the beam, two forward. So we're putting them on the vertical bar here. Stern light's fine there. It's good here, all right. We're doing a test with the prop modification in the tank now. It's probably our most realistic test today. Oh. Fixed. Genius. All right, anode installed properly, no shortcuts for us. Excellent. Frame is protected. Here we've got a capacity sticker. So we are fully legit. Sound signal. Auxiliary propulsion. This is practically registrable. Okay, next thing. We're going to get these cans, fill them with expander foam and cable tie them on to give us a little bit of buoyancy. Take the roll out of it. Stuff expands quite a bit, so that's all we're going to dump. Very buoyant. Early trials highlighted a few minor issues with our design, so put it back on land, made some improvements. All right, the final job to fix on the fully sicker now is to take our seats and put them on the back to make some more buoyancy. We had a problem in the water, as you may have noticed, where we were stern heavy, and because we've got the cutaway transom, it was getting pretty close to down flooding, so we're gonna take our seats cable tied them on the back. All right, for the final one, Adrian's going the truckies hitch to give it some good tension. Very good, well done. There is our extra buoyancy in the stern. Nothing can stop us now. Got the cap open on the top. Got good compression. Is the fuel on or is it off? I turned it off there. Yeah. Fuel on. We decide where the choke was up and down. Up. Yep. And the. Oh, you got the lead there. The lead disconnected yet? It's disconnected. I think so. Can't remember now. No. No. no disconnected yet. Yep. I think I start it full choke. Huh? To start it full choke, yep. and then bring it down. The good thing is with it in gear, every time you pull it, you go forward a little yeah. bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what this means, Adrian. It does work. It needs the six. It needs a six. Right oh, It's Warmed up now. Oh, no, Let's pull the six off and put it on the back. What do you reckon? Pull the six off the off the tender. Well, off I the think tender. the water in the bow is actually helping. Helping, yeah. Although I'm really worried that's going to snap. No, it's, well, it's. Why don't we try the other six? Well, the other one at home. Oh, the other three. How many times have we tested this boat now and failed? Well, I'm not letting it fail. Are you going to let it fail? Are you? Yeah, I'm giving up. Let's go home. Yeah. Boat that never fails to fail. Fully 
Jessica is rubbish, but it is working. I think the next challenge is to see if we can get Adrian uh, water skiing behind it. Actually, we could have those two wires poking out the cowling. Yeah, then we can turn it off. Excellent. Innovation. Always striving for excellence. All right. All right, let's go. Well, you thought I'd got to be in that corner. All right, I'll be in this corner, you'll be in that corner. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, oh. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, we didn't bring bait. Oh, didn't we? It'll stall, it'll stall. <sighs> yes. You want one, don't you? <laughs> I don't believe we're getting the best out of the mercury yet. No. Could be operator error. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Between getting elbowed in the head and capsizing. I don't know what's scarier. I guess we should go to the pump out. Bailing bucket, life jacket to share, paddles. Everything's legit. He's moving a lot of water for a little prop. Yeah, the prop's still too big. I think we got the size right, but one too many blades. Yeah. This is the best boat I've ever owned. Oh, absolutely. I now genuinely love this boat. The look of sheer jealousy on people's faces.
him back up the river. I'm gonna go help Marine Rescue. Yep. Yeah. Hey guys. We've got all our safety equipment. That's it. And, um, and they've given us a thumbs up. So we're all good to go. Be close, you... This uh, this flotation's oh, one of our cans. Oh, we lost the can. These have done a great job of keeping the transom higher up. This is why testing is so important. Why you need test pilots. We're in. Yeah, a bit more throttle, a bit more throttle. Keep the throttle up, you'll be right. Yeah. Just beach it, Sue, beach it. Watch it. Yeah, that's it. Right now, tip your way. Good, that's it. So we've got a bit of water in the nose there, Stu. Yeah, we'll fix that. Some more sicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. The tool just as far as any partially sicker. Yeah. I reckon we're just a bit out of water there, mate. Alright. Yep. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Could have got a ute was a bit lower, couldn't you? <laughs> I should have let the airbags down for you. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, I'll just put the motor on the back now. We're done. Get it home. Now, yeah, buddy. Alright, tighten her up, that fella. Needs a trailer. Yep, trailer for the Rhino lawnmower. Smaller prop, yeah. I think if we take another, what we just took off the prop. Again. Maybe just like from that corner around like that, I think. Yep. Do that. Keel, ballast. Yep, keel some more ballast. Seal the bow. Seal the bow, yes. That could have been treacherous for our lives. Thank you, Bo. Thank you for your uh, assistance. Thank you, Jennifer, for your assistance. Did you film me? Thank you, Jennifer. Well, thanks for watching. It was fun to finally take Fully Sicker out on the water. Um, I think there are things we can do to improve it again. I think it answers the question, can you make a boat for under $200? Um, I think it also answers the question of, should you make a boat for under $200? And the answer is probably no. Well, maybe not this way. I wouldn't say it's the safest boat to be going out in the water in, but it was pretty good in calm waters. Maybe with extra buoyancy around the outside, it'd be okay. I'm sure you'll see this boat again as we make a few improvements down the track. Uh, but in the meantime, we've still got the uh, Yamaha to restore. We've got a new project boat coming and also another new website coming. So more about that soon. All right, see ya. Big chunks of yesterday's rice seem to be popular. Makes a change from the seed, doesn't it? <laughs> Daffy tries to stick the biggest blob she can find in her gob. Daisy picks up the scraps. What you got there? Look at all the feathers missing from your neck, Daffy. You're molting. All right, you enjoy your rice. I will see you soon.